Hello, my name is Nikita Shamdanov and I'm the CEO of Neon. Welcome to our first ever Neon Developer Days. Neon is a serverless Postgres, which means when you create a database, all you get is a connection stream and our software will automatically scale storage and compute to the needs of your workload. It also means more than that. Neon packs a punch of tasty developer features, which we will demo to you shortly. Before that, I would like to share some stats. It has been almost six months since we introduced Neon to the world with our um, uh, blog post, Select Hello World, which hit the first place on Hacker News. Since that time, our users created over 7,000 databases on Neon, and our compute usage is doubling month over month. Also, uh, we have received, received a tremendous amount of encouragement and feedback from our users. It is awesome and it keeps us going. Finally, I would like to thank all of our developers for giving us 5,400 stars to our public repo on GitHub. So now I have a few announcements to make. The first and the most important is that Neon is now live, open to every developer on the planet. Today, we're dropping the invite gate and allow everyone to sign up and experience Neon. Please check it out and do give us feedback. We promise to be very responsive and keep releasing great stuff. Today, we are also announcing branching. Unlike a regular database that doesn't allow you to create dev test statement environment easily, you can instantly create a branch of a Neon database with a push of a button or an API call. So why would you use something like this? As a developer, how many times do you experience the need to test your application on a live database with real production data and a fully populated database so you can measure our performance and reliability of your software? Now imagine you can get a full copy of this environment for every engineer on your team and every PR. Neon branching is precisely that. Just like in Git, Neon branches contain a full copy of the database, which includes schema, data, and users. So now you can have a branch for every developer. You can set up your CI CD pipelines to create branch for every PR. You can create branches that serve as backups. You can perform experiments without messing up your production database. Um, and some of our users actually do scenario analysis by creating a branch for each scenario, performing a few reads and writes, and then crunching some numbers. So that's how powerful uh, branches are. So how do they work? Um, I would like to introduce one of our senior engineers, Polina, to demo branches for you. Hello, Polina. Hi, uh, thanks, Nikita. My name is Polina. I'm lead front-end engineer at Neon, and I'm very excited to share our work with you guys. Uh, today, I'm going to show you one of the use cases of branching when you use one branch for your production database and branch out from it for your local development. First of all, uh, we're going to need a project. So I'm going to create it really quick. Here it is. And uh, here you can see the branches list and also the connection details. For now, my project has only one branch main, and I'm going to use it as my production database. So I'm going to copy the connection string and paste it to my production and file. So now uh, let's add some data to it. Uh, my application is going to be about music. So I'm just going to go and create a table, uh, create a table greatest hits and insert some data. Okay, so here it is. Uh, and uh, now, as you can see, some of the artists uh, has more than one song here. So I want to add a separate tables, table for artists, and uh, I want to link them. But let's say my application already has some users, so I don't want to mess up production database, and I'm not really uh, that good with SQL queries, so things might go wrong. Uh, and for that, I'm gonna create a branch uh, here. 
I'm going to name it add artists. Uh, I'm going to select a main branch as a parent, and I'm going to choose head option here. It means that my new branch will have all the latest changes from main branch. I also choose create endpoints option because I want to connect to my branch. Here you can see the branch page. It has branch name, branch ID, so you can uh, use our API to access your branch, uh, to like delete it or change it or whatever. Uh, you can see the parent information. And also here you can see the host uh, you should use to connect to the branch. So I'm gonna copy it and replace my host uh, for my local development. Uh, if you want to, you can also go to dashboard to connection details, uh, select your branch here and copy like the whole connection stream. Because I created this branch from head, I can use the same credentials to connect to the branch because it will have like all the data, including users and passwords. Um, so now let's do some changes. Um, I'm gonna go to a scale editor. Here you can see we have the branch selector as well. So just checking that like the new branch is selected here and I'm gonna run some migrations. I'm going to create a separate table artists, uh, insert all the artists from greatest hits, and I will also replace artists column with artist ID in the greatest hits table. It worked perfect. Uh, so now let's go to tables and check our changes. You can see the branch selector here as well, and now add artist branch is selected, so it should have uh, the artists table, and here it is. And also in the greatest hits table, it should have artist ID instead of artist, and it's also there. Let's now check the main branch. It should not have any changes, and looks like it, like all good. Uh, we still have all the old data with artist column. So that's basically how branching works. You can create a branch, you can run some migrations for tests uh, or like for local development, you can create a branch from the console with this beautiful UI or uh, with our API. Um, so you can also go to settings and if you like really unsure, if you're gonna like to connect to the wrong branch, you can create a new user for your like development branch or something like that. So I'm gonna just go and create a test user for an artist branch. And here it is. And uh, as you can see, it's here for an artist branch, but it's not there for main branch. So to, to avoid any conflicts, you can use the new user to connect to the new branch. And that's basically it. And uh, yeah, you can use branches for tests, as I said before, for like CI, uh, for local development, and the limit is only your imagination. So let us know how you would use it. And thanks for your attention. Back to Nikita. Thank you, Paulina. This was awesome. So what else do we have for you? Tomorrow, we will show you a few use cases that you can set up with the use of the Neon API. We will show you how to tie a Neon branch to a Git branch in your local environment and how to integrate branching into your CI CD for testing. We will also show you how to do data recovery with branching after an unwanted behavior, an accidental delete or truncate. And on day three, we will discuss our efforts to support serverless runtimes at the edge with our serverless driver for Postgres. So now let's go ahead Try Neon at neon.tech and let us know what you think. Finally, do not forget to join us at the live Q&A. See you all there. Bye-bye.